Welcome back, guys. This is Bree from Countdown to New Me. Today is Friday, May 31st, uh, 2013, maybe about uh, 4.45 in the afternoon. And today I am shooting from my car because my daughter has an event this evening from 5 to 7. And um, But I had some information that I wanted to share. I thought it was rather important. So I said, come hell or high water today, I am making a video. Because, you know, it's my, my, my goal is to share the good, the bad, the ugly uh, of, of my life as I pursue my passions and, and, and everything over the next few years. So hope you don't mind the car. Uh, you know, it is a little dirty, but you don't see that part. So we're going to move forward, okay? Uh, I want to talk about a few things today. Um, the first being uh, developing my relationship with my daughter. And then I also want to tell you about uh, two events that I'll be partaking in uh, over the next month or so that I'm very excited about. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is, uh, you know, one of the things that I wanted to make sure I addressed in my blog and video log, etc. and on my uh, Facebook page, which you can find at Countdown to New Me on Facebook or www.countdowntonewme.com, which is coming very soon. Once I get that up and running, I'll definitely post and let you know. Uh, but again, going back to what I want to discuss, the first thing is relationships and my relationship with my daughter, Kiwi. So, you know, I'm a busy mom. Uh, I'm a single parent. You know, you, I always have a lot of stuff going on or I'm tired and, you know, things like that. Your day is hectic. When you get home, you just want to lay down. You want to go to sleep. You need to cook. You need to clean, help with homework, uh, things like that. Well, a week or so ago, Karen had come to me to let me know that she had an event at her school, which I'm at today. And, you know, I hemmed and hawed, and I was like, ah, you know, I don't know, Kiwi, I'll let you know. I have to see how I feel, you know. And every day she would ask me, can I go to my, can, can we go to my event? Can we go to my event? And, and I guess it's an event just kind of the end of the year kind of thing where they're going to be singing songs and, um... Honestly, I don't even really know. She didn't tell me too much about it, but I believe it's just like a kind of a festival of sorts where the parents and the kids come together to celebrate the end of the year and et cetera. So, you know, I told her, you know, every day, I'll let you know, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. Well, it got to the point where she, uh, I believe it was on Wednesday or, yeah, it was on Wednesday. She said at one point, well, you don't have to go, you know, you can just stay in the car or uh, you can just go home and then you don't have to and then you won't have to worry about, you know, watching me or hearing me sing and you can just come back and pick me up. Did you hear what I said? The child told me that I can go home and not have to worry about listening to her perform and then I can pick her up after the event. And when she said that, I immediately thought you've screwed up here. You have screwed up in a major way because if your child wants you to go to something and then towards at, at the end of them asking, you know, repeatedly every day, they're just saying, well, you can just go home and you don't have to see me perform. You know, what is that saying about what you're doing or what I'm doing as a parent? Yes, I am very busy. That's life. But when your child needs you to be present or needs me to be present, I need to be present. So that just, it kind of hurt my heart. And she didn't say it in a mean way, of course, but she just really wants to go to this event. And she's like, look, either you think it's important or not, but I want to go, you know? So we're, I'm here today. We're doing the event. It's important to her. Um, so we're going to do it. And don't get me wrong, pretty much every event that she has, be it from her piano recitals um, to different events at school, etc., I do them. But this one, I was like, well, I've done so many already. Let me just not do this one. She's not going to mind. But she does mind. She wants to go and she wants me to participate. And this is time that I cannot get back. I will never be able to go back to this specific day, March 31st, 2013, and participate or watch her perform at this specific time. This is time, you know, time is moving forward constantly. You can't get it back. And when your child 
um, starts to feel like you're not valuing them now, I mean, who's to say when she's a teenager, um, it, I, I think it just might have ramifications down the line. Um, so I, I'm working on making sure I develop better relationships with her. And I've done things like when she's talking, I stop what I'm doing. I listen. I turn the music down or off. Um, I'm trying not to be on my cell phone when she's uh, when it's just us, you know, for dinner or watching movies or whatever. Because I she's ten, and I I'm doing I'm doing a great job. But I want to I want to do the best job. I want to be 100% present and focused. You know what I mean? So I'm at the event. We're gonna have a great time. I'm going to tell her that I appreciate that, you know, appreciate her. I thought she did great. And hopefully she remembers that her mom felt that she was important enough to part to participate in all of her functions. You know, so that's really important to me. Um, really quick before I head out, because this video is already six minutes long. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, the two events that I told you about earlier. Uh, the first one is um, I, I was kind of putzing around on the internet looking up motivational speakers, etc. And I stumbled on one, uh, a course. It's a seven-week course. Um, and basically it's just uh, regarding shifting your life into being able to step off, the, step off the ledge, so to speak. Be comfortable in yourself. Tell your story because others need to hear your story. Others can benefit from whatever message it is you have, you know, to provide or your life story, etc. So the course is at www.divinemessengercourse.com. Again, www.divinemessengercourse.com. It's a seven-week online course. I believe it's every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and some of the uh, some of the things they'll talk about are like permission to be divine, to let yourself be seen, releasing your fears, setting your intention, unleash unleashing your message. So I thought that was pretty damn important. So I signed up, and I believe it's about three hundred dollars. And I, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful that I have it to, to spend because it's being run by Lisa Nichols. And if you don't know who Lisa Nichols is, honey, you better get on YouTube. You better ask somebody. She is a dynamo. She's a powerhouse. And I am ever so glad that I have this opportunity to kind of study under her wing, you know, so to speak. So that was the first thing. Um, and she's a, a huge, like, m she's an African-American woman. So that was ding, 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 number one. But she's just this huge, motivational, empowered um, like I said, Dynamo. So I definitely cannot wait. And that starts, I believe, on June 3rd. Uh, I think that's a Monday um, to start this course. I'm going to make the money available because I want to do it. I told you one of my goals was personal development at least once a month. So this is kind of a month and a half, but in, in a course, but whatever. I'm so ready to do it. The second thing is, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but they have uh, on Facebook the Happy black woman community so again the happy black woman community i believe that's right the person the lady rosetta that runs that um great entrepreneurial lady by the way she's always traveling and speaking and motivating etc uh she is having an, some networking sessions across the country over the next few months and i apologize i don't know exactly where besides the one here in los angeles that's the only one that kind of was like you know ah oh, los angeles you know it's going to be near the lax um in in the lax area and that is on june 22nd so that's june 22nd in the evening you register if you go to the black excuse me the happy black woman community um i apologize i don't have the link for that um but you can find it uh, on, on that page if you were interested in finding out about the details for the Los Angeles area or to see what other cities uh, she would be in over the course of, uh, of the next few months. And that is a free event, a free networking event. So there's going to be tons, I'm hoping, of black women and, and businesses and, and other people there just kind of networking. And I have been, I have personally challenged myself to get my blog up and running to order my business cards etc because come june 22nd i don't want to walk in there i mean i can and it won't be a problem but i would love to be able to have some type of solid 
something to say, here's my blog, here's my website, here's my card, darling, you know, here you go, I'm Brie, I'm fabulous, hello, something like that, so I gotta get, I gotta get my shit together, excuse my French, I gotta get my shit together, I do, so that was number two, um, also, one last thing, one of my uh, co-workers told me about a movie today, I won't put him on blast, um, he said it was a really good movie called Courageous, and this is from the makers of uh, the movie Fireproof, I think Kirk Cameron did that, if you enjoyed Fireproof, I think you'll enjoy Courageous, um, and I think basically it, re it revolves around four parents that, to my understanding, aren't aren't being the men in their children's lives until some event or something something happens to cause a shift in their thinking uh be it regrets or or i don't know if there's an accident or, or something uh the person that told me about this is a man he said it was an awesome movie he actually shed a few tears this is why i can't say his name he shed a few tears and um since i am looking to better myself I want to watch this movie. So I'm definitely going to check that out um, sometime uh, in the next few weeks. So it's again called Courageous. And it's about four police officers that are dealing with family type children parenting issues. Um, I heard it was really good. So anyway, I think that's all for now. Um, don't forget to please follow me on Facebook. You can find me again at, on Facebook at Countdown, which is one word. Countdown to New Me. Again, my website is www.countdowntonewme.com. That is going to be up in the next few weeks. I'm going to do it. You have my word. I'm going to do it. Um, and you can always reach me on Facebook for now, though. Like I said, um, messages uh, there. I can get those there. Um, or here on YouTube. You can leave them here, too. Um, but please give me your feedback. Let me know what you think thus far. Um, if you've taken motivational uh, courses that you feel might benefit me, by all means, please let me know. I love to hear new input um, from like-minded individuals. So uh, anyway, I have to run. Again, I'm sorry for this car video, but actually I kind of like doing it, so I might do it again. Who knows? Um, we'll see how it, how it works out. But anyway, stay blessed, stay motivated, stay encouraged. Um, this is your time. Um, again, my name is Bree with Countdown to New Me. Have a great weekend. Peace.